Y'all gassing me with this. <laughs> Yo guys, what going on? Know? What's up? What's poppin'? It's your girl Jojo back at it again with another video. I'm here and I'm sober this time. Okay, so today I'm gonna be reading some assumptions about me. Um, I went on Insta, Snap, and WhatsApp and I asked some people what were their assumptions when they first met me? Or what are some assumptions? No, I mostly got some replies from WhatsApp because that's my most active social media. But yeah, let's get into this video. I'm not gonna waste any time. So here we have the first assumption from my friend Logan. She said, I thought you were really cool and I wanted to be your friend. Deadass. I mean, I'm a pretty cool person. Not to be cocky or anything, not to be big hitty. But I'm a pretty cool person. No? Okay. I'm a pretty cool person. I'd like to think. And if you don't think that, let me know. Tell me. We can fight. Anyways. So nice, my friend said, I thought you were really gorgeous and I love the vibes you gave off. And you're the reason I got into sign language. <laughs> Baby. I love that it spurred people to learn sign language. Like, even back home, like, a lot of my friends told me, like, seeing that, seeing me learning inspired them to learn more. And thanks for saying I'm gorgeous. Like, we insecure in these parts. Thank you. You're gorgeous too, baby. You know who you are. You know who said that. Ooh, this person said I didn't have any really I actually thought that she was well like me in a way but she seems more chill than I expected I mean I can be wild like if you really know me I'm really if I just met you I'm gonna be myself but I'm not gonna be my full self um, I'd say I'm a pretty well person, but sometimes I'm cool. I like to lay back and chill. I'm a really chill person, so like, be my friend, watch my videos, you know, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm a really chill person. On no, like, no, like, I'm a really chill person. Um, yeah. okay so this other person <laughs> this other person that has known me for years was like pervert and i am not a pervert i just classify myself as a very sexual person an openly sexual person um yeah, that's it. So I want to classify myself as a pervert because that's kind of like, you know, slander just in my name. But I'm just a highly sexual person. I like to talk about stuff like that. <laughs> okay, so now you have my best friend. And he said, I was like, aw, she's cute and she can dance. Yep, I'm dropping some in it. I'm just playing, but <laughs> that was his first assumption of me. Um, I mean, you could have. You could have, because then I wouldn't have wasted my time on that. Let me not store that. My best friend is a king, bro. Like, that would have been lit, but. You no, know, we is who we is. We all we are. And I love you. The next assumption is, I assume you like anal. 
Next assumption. <laughs> My friend Nadia said she assumed I was a bitch that she wasn't going to like. Now she calls me her sister. Watch that. Girl. Girl. Like, I feel like when people first meet me, I'm pretty intense. I'm a pretty intense person. So it may come off like I'm too much. That's why sometimes I feel like people may not like me, but I'm a very intense person. So I may come off like a bitch, but I'm really chill. As I said, I'm really chill. And when she met me, that was like way back when, compared to like these new people that are saying that I'm really chill, like I have matured so much in my life that like I just come off as like that really like down to earth person where I was back then. Like my first question in meeting you is be like, have you had a tree slim in your life? <laughs> Do you like boys or girls, baby? Like I was that kind of person, you know? Okay. Next assumption, or should I say fact, was from my mother. And she said, this, this girl said, this lady said, she really said this to me. She was like, you're miserable. You're miserable as can. Ma'am, who birthed me? Who created me? Two very miserable people. Hmm. Man. Next. Okay, so next assumption, you're crazy. I mean, just a little bit. Just a little bit. I'd like to think just a little bit. <coughs> okay, so next we have Okay, I would have to say, I thought she would have taken a while to get to like us in person, but she's a really cool girl, especially for inviting us to come to party with her and at least making sure we got a drink. Man, that girl is set with me as far as I know. Anything she needs me for and I can help and do it, I have her. Hey, boo. <laughs> I got you. Uh, I'm a really caring person. I like to open my arms to people. Um, yeah, and if you have a really cool vibe, I will chill with you. Um, I know this person through a friend of mine, so I already knew that they were good. Like the people he brought around me were good people because he's a really great person in my life. Um, so like when I saw them, I was like, I thought they weren't gonna like me because like I thought they were like quiet. But yeah, I always make sure people are good. I'm a really chill person. I, I keep saying this. I'm really cool. <sighs> Y'all gassing me with this. <laughs> so my dance partner, my dance partner. <laughs> that was, let me not do that again. But yeah, my dance partner, he was like, you were well cute in that orange top. No, I'm gonna insert a clip of what he's talking about. <laughs> Your girl, your <laughs> just this But yeah, we met at like a boat cruise um, for my school. Um, I actually wasn't thinking of going, but I heard it was a cool party. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna pull up. You know, I'm gonna pull up and see what's all about. I heard Caribbean music, please. So I'm like, okay. And that's where I met my dance partner. Like, I actually saw him on his YouTube at first. Before I even moved to Canada. And he was like, yo, hit me up. Da, 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 da. That's when we met. But that night. <laughs> if you know, you know. Like, when we came back to school, it was just like, we saw y'all in those videos. Ungrabble my shirt. That's what. But yeah, thank you. <laughs> Yo, like everybody thinks we're together and it's not even funny, but. Okay, so somebody just put a bunch of shot glasses. So I'm assuming that's to see I'm an alcoholic. Now you know, watch my last video, but. 
I don't think alcohol is for me anymore. I have retired from drinking after that video. I nearly died. <laughs> we have a long written paragraph. The long is what I got from my friend Owen that I met in my American Sign Language class. And yeah. So I didn't see you in our first class when we had the interpreter and the only people I saw were the people who didn't make it so you already know I thought highly of you when we got to I think Susan's class. When we first started to actually talk and realized you were pretty much around the same level of signing, you're a bit better I suppose. I thought you were way campier and geekier than you are. Not that you aren't those things. I just didn't think you were anywhere near as much of a boss ass bitch. I don't... <laughs> I don't take none of that shit type of girl, you know? Definite thought you were, let's say, more reserved. After I was corrected in your name by someone else and then proceeded to call you it for a whole day without telling, <laughs> without you telling me, I was convinced you were too nice. Then that all changed before the weekend came. I swear to God, we were already shit talking and all the rest of our dumb shit. P.S. I missed the fuck out of Ron's and Susan's class with you, man. <laughs> Yo. No. Okay, y'all. He always says that I'm mean. So for him to like, <laughs> for him to, his first assumption would be that I was too nice. As he said, that changed by weekend. I am a very blunt person. I have my moments where I'm very quiet and I'm just like in my space. But when I'm in my space, him and all the rest of my friends love to record me, but I have, the worst facial expressions ever. I guess that's the Caribbean in me, but I have the worst Caribbean expressions ever, like facial expressions just. So, <laughs> woo, for him to thought, think I was nice, but he, he, like, from then on, he knew. And he said I was a boss ass bitch, you placed my crown on my head. I don't care about, about you working your ass legs. Oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, I love you, man. And I miss classes too, man. I can't wait for us to be in interpreting together. Cross fingers. But yeah. That is it for the video. It was very short. Um, if you have any assumptions about me, you could like put them in the comment section. I could do this again. But yeah, that was a really good video. I feel really gassed right now. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling a little gas, a little cocky. But yeah, thanks for watching my videos and supporting me thus far. I passed 100 subs last week, so I just wanna say thank you. And thank you for blowing up that last video. Like, I did not expect that. Nope. I love y'all, man. But yeah, so like, comment, share, subscribe if you like this video. Um, I post every Tuesday and Friday on this channel, beauty, fashion, tips. Um, I might switch over to a little lifestyle stuff because I'm just doing some stuff out of the art and I try to find my niche. But yeah, um, I'm gonna see you in the next video.